Hello everyone, this is Husker Eurocat, welcoming you back to season number three of the San Francisco franchise here on Madden Football. Our 49ers are struggling to get a win without their starting quarterback, Jimmy Garoppolo, and fell once again last week to the Cardinals in Glendale. This week, the Niners are hosting the Tennessee Titans in Levi Stadium. The Titans are coming off two sizable losses, and last week they let the Chiefs hang 55 points on them. Either they're showing defeat early in this season, that's only half over for the season, or the defense is really not what they thought the Titans were going to be. Regardless, each team is needing a victory tonight. For the Titans, it's get back to winning. And for the 49ers, the risk is sliding out of the playoff picture altogether. San Francisco really needs to find a running game if they're going to offset the deficiency at the quarterback spot. We're finding out that Zach Thomas is trying, but he's no Jimmy G. Will it surface tonight? Let's find out as we get ready for the Titans and the 49ers here on Monday night. As you can see here, San Francisco is th two full games out of first place behind Seattle and Los Angeles. Marquette King sends it deep and it's taken in the end zone and down. Right out to the 25, DeMarco Murray only gets a yard. Mariota out of the shotgun, hands it off to Murray. He has yardage over the over the 30-yard line for a five-yard pickup. Third and four. The fake handoff, and it's incomplete. And the Titans have to punt it away. Thomas at the 26. Completes it to Bell up the right side, and he's into Titan territory. Down to the 43. Now, he, McKinnon is caught in the backfield. A four-yard loss. Thomas back to pass. And throws an interception to Avery Williamson. Thomas just looked like he got some happy feet and threw it a little bit too soon. Didn't wait for his receiver to get open. And O'Leary was behind Williamson when he picked that ball off. Now the Titans have it at their own 46-yard line. Mariota back to pass. Almost has that intercepted by Ross Cockrell. Second and 10. He fakes the handoff. Completes it to Richard Matthews. He's open. 10. And he's in the end zone. The Titans strike first with that touchdown, and Malcolm Smith almost got to Marcus Mariota, but almost didn't cut it, and Tennessee takes the early lead with a 53-yard touchdown strike. Now Thomas from the 25 will try and answer. McKinnon goes over the left side to the 30-yard line for a five-yard pickup. Thomas out of the backfield, all alone, completes it to Janice for a first down. Oh, they're gonna mark him just shy, and McKinnon picks it up anyway, running up the hash marks. Second and 11 from the 41. Thomas is sacked. Jarrell Casey getting to him for a six yard loss. Now on third and 17, the pass falls incomplete. Fourth down, they have to punt, and the Titans get it back. At the 21, Mariota is sacked himself. Second and 15. Back in the shotgun, completes it to Richard Matthews. Third in inches now. Mariota fakes the handoff, and it's knocked incomplete. So the 49ers take over at their own 30-yard line. Thomas back to pass, goes long, and it's caught. Jordan is in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Thomas notices that the safety comes up to cover the flat, 
and hits Jordan for the bomb and into the end zone for the 49ers' first score. A 70-yard pass. Now can the Titans respond at the 24. Mariota is sacked. Bowman getting to him for a five-yard loss. Once again, he's back to pass and completes it, but very short of the first down. And the 49ers get the ball back. McKinnon goes right side, jukes to the left, and has the first down out to the 46-yard line. And that brings us to the end of the first quarter with your score all knotted up at seven apiece. Thomas has him in the full house set and gives off to McKinnon, and he is dropped in the backfield. Brian Arakpo making the stop. Again, back to pass, over the middle to O'Leary, and he fumbled the football. Oh my goodness, and it is it is recovered by the 49ers. And Nick O'Leary is down and injured. We'll have to find out how that's gonna impact that tight end spot. And on third down, McKinnon bounces it outside to the left and does not get the first down. Marquette King, it's off the side of his foot and out of bounds. After a quick three and out from the Titans, ball is back in the hands of the 49ers and Thomas is dropped for a six yard loss. Back to the four yard line. He's backpedaling in the end zone. It's, it's complete out to Nick O'Leary. Out past the 20 yard line for first down. Thomas hands off to McKinnon and he's dropped again in the backfield. A three yard loss this time. Thomas he completes it to George Kittle and he's out in the open inside Titan territory down inside the 45 yard line. That time on the roll to the right, Thomas finds his man over the middle. And George Kittle with an easy completion into Titan territory. Jones tries going right and he has a nice seven yard gain. Give now is to McKinnon and he's up the middle for a first down inside the 35 yard line. And Thomas takes too long. Delay of game on the 49ers. And that brings us to the two minute warning with your score seven to seven. Now back to pass. Complete over the middle to Bell inside the 30 yard line. Third and three. McKinnon takes it right and is upended at the 20 yard line. First and 10 at the 19. Thomas completes it to Jordan, and he's inside the five-yard line. Now at the four, first and goal. It's almost intercepted again by Williamson. Out of the I formation. Thomas rolls right, throws, and it's complete in the end zone. Jarek McKinnon, touchdown San Francisco. Thomas putting some nice touch on that pass and floats it over the top of a Dory Jackson and into the waiting arms of Jarek McKinnon in the end zone. That drive started out on the 10 yard line, folks. And that brings us to halftime, 14 to seven is your score. With an update, let's go to the sideline and Eurocat baby. Husker, there was one minor injury in the second quarter to Nick O'Leary. A sprained shoulder is what the trainers are saying, and we've seen him back in the game already. Now the coach has had a lot of the same things to say. Better line play out of both sides of the football being the top issue. But Coach Gray for the Titans was most concerned with the inability of his defense to stop up the running lanes. Considering how the 49ers have had real trouble lately running the ball, he thought that defensively they would be doing a bit better. Be looking for some changes here in the second half in that regard. Coach Shanahan said that he's very happy with the play of the defense 
and that the O-line needs to continue to play assignment football and keep blocking for the backs. He said that that's when he gets himself in trouble. The other thing he said is that they need to control the ball even better in the second half so they can keep it out of the hands of the Titan offense. Thank you for that, and I agree. If Zach Thomas thinks he has to do it all himself, it's not a good situation. Let's see if they can keep this train rolling in the second half. The 49ers have the ball at the 32-yard line to start out the second half. Thomas gives to McKinnon, and he has room over the 35 for a five-yard gain. Thomas back and throws incomplete into the dirt. And it gives the ball back to the Titans. The Titans at the 18. Mariota gets to the 20-yard line. They're going to give him the 19, so second and nine. Empty backfield, back to pass. Completes it to Derrick Henry inside 49er territory at the 45. Mariota hands off to Derrick Henry this time, and he fights his way forward for a nine-yard pickup. And Ross Cockrell appears to have injured his hand. That could be big for the defensive effort of the 49ers. And Tennessee has a false start, so that backs him up five yards. Mariota floats it out to Bo Scarborough, and he is tackled before he reaches the sticks. So a 54-yard kick by Ryan Suckup is on the way, and it is good. 54 yards is a long way in this damp and foggy night here in San Francisco. Juszczyk carries it up the middle for an eight-yard gain, third and two. McKinnon is up the middle for a first down and more out past the 45. Now second and eight. McKinnon takes it up the left hash marks and he has another first down down to the 35 of the Titans. That brings us to the end of the third quarter with your score, 14-10 San Francisco. Second and eight, Thomas throws. Bell catches it inside the 30-yard line for an eight-yard pickup. Third and two, McKinnon falls across the first down marker at the 26. Again, McKinnon goes right side, and he looks like he, no, he's tackled at the one-yard line. A nice bit of running around the left side, and Juszczyk takes it into the end zone. Right up the middle, touchdown 49ers. That caps off a 68-yard, 10-play drive, and the 49ers are on top, 21-10. Now can the Titans come up with something positive? And DeMarco Murray has a first down out to the 43. Third and seven now. Mariota throws to Eric Decker inside 49er territory. And Akella Witherspoon tackled him, but he pushed him forward and got him the first down. That's complete to Delaney Walker. Mariota back to pass again, completes it to Decker inside the 30. Now from the 28 yard line, first down. The pass goes to Fowler. He has an eight yard pickup just outside the 20 yard line. Mariota, he takes it himself up the middle, first down at the 15. Back to pass. Completes it to Davis on the right side and tackled by Duke Iannaccio. Second and inches. Mariota throws into the end zone and it's picked off. Prince Amukamara in the end zone. Touchback and that stifles the drive of the Titans. Amukamara with his third interception of the season. And that brings us to the two-minute warning. Now let's go to the sideline with a report from Eurocat Baby. An unfortunate update for the 49er fans out there. Ross Cockrell that went out late in the third quarter 
will not be returning to the field for the foreseeable future. They took an x-ray of his right forearm and found that it's broke. The doctors are telling me that he could miss the rest of the regular season, but it's a little too soon to tell at this point. For now, they say that either Akello Witherspoon or Richard Robinson will need to step to the plate. Obviously, time will tell which one will be the leader they need at the cornerback spot. Oh, that is not good. And it's going to take those young fellas making a big statement for the rest of the season for this to turn out right. The 49ers appear to have this one in hand on second and nine. Thomas hands off to McKinnon, and he's out to the 26-yard line for a five-yard gain. McKinnon again. First down, out past the 35 and only a minute and eight seconds left. McKinnon goes left side again and is tackled in the backfield. Fourth down and they have to punt it back to the Titans. Mariota back to pass, throws incomplete, intended for Eric Decker. Back to pass again, Mariota lets it fly and it's incomplete again. Nine seconds left, all but done in this one. Mariota lets it fly long again and it's almost intercepted by Jimmy Ward. One last attempt, one second on the clock and it's incomplete again. That brings us to the end of the game, 21 to 10 and the losing streak has been snapped. Not only has it been snapped, but that had to be the best that I've seen the 49ers play in a number of weeks, even before Garoppolo got hurt. And the thing that puzzles me is that they managed to find a running game. I'm not complaining because I think even all 49er fans were waiting for this to happen. But where did that come from? The pressure was certainly taken off Zach Thomas in the passing attack, and that's what the team needed. Zach only had to throw the ball 18 times and connected on 11 of them. He did throw that early pick, and I thought, oh, ho, 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 no, here we go again. But he regrouped after that and went the rest of the distance, throwing two touchdowns instead of two more interceptions. Jarek McKinnon found a rhythm and ran for just under 100 yards, which is a far cry from under 20 yards. It would have been nice to see him score on the run down to the one, but again, it's hard to complain about that running performance. The receiving core as a whole only had one drop, so hanging on once the ball got to them wasn't a real issue. There was a moment where O'Leary fumbling a catch and getting injured in the process, but at least it was recovered by the 49ers to continue that drive. Definitely a defibrillator moment here in the booth. That's for a certainty. I'm not sure whether it was that the line got better, so therefore blocking was better, or that Tennessee was failing in their assignments badly. Time will tell over the next couple of games. The defense held the Titans to under 200 yards of offense tonight, definitely under their 300-yard average. That's encouraging since the defense on average has been allowing a few too many yards in the past few weeks. The loss of Ross Cockrell is a big one for this organization, but just like the injury to Jimmy Garoppolo, they have to find a way to win without him. The two guys that'll be fighting for that position, Witherspoon and Robinson, have big shoes to fill, but fill them they must. Good news on two fronts is that the 49ers have a bye week next week that will give them time to heal and Jimmy G will be returning in two weeks when the 49ers continue division play at the Los Angeles Coliseum facing the Rams for the second time this season. The first time they met in week two, the 49ers outlasted the running attack of Todd Gurley. 
Los Angeles had a dynamite fourth quarter and almost came away with a victory. Will the Niners be able to contain him this time? Or will Jared Goff and that potent air attack be able to win the day? The defense will have to be in top shape for that one, I do believe. Will the newfound running game continue and help with the comeback of Garoppolo? How much rust will he have to work out during the game is the real question, I think. The Rams had a pretty good win against the Texans this week, so depending on the outcome of the Cardinal game next week, well, let's just see what kind of temperament that they're in come game time. Thank you for tuning in to our Week 9 coverage of the San Francisco 49er franchise on the Football Freaks Sports Network. Please keep in mind that if you enjoyed this video, leave a like so that others can enjoy it too. And make sure that you subscribe and click on that bell for notifications of upcoming videos as well. The 49ers found a running rhythm this week against the Titans. With the return of Jimmy Garoppolo, will that continue? And will the Niners start on a playoff run? Can the struggling Rams come up with a game plan that will foil the best laid plans of the Niners? Be with us as we travel to the Los Angeles Coliseum to take on the Rams in an NFC West matchup. Both teams are fighting to stay in second place behind the Seahawks, who will be on top when the dust clears. Until I see you in Los Angeles, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew here, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now, and have a good day, everyone.